Good morning, today on Customer States What. So you wanna be an auto technician, huh? We got a 2009 A5. We gotta replace the AC compressor. This job's a doozy. You know, gotta take the front bumper cover off. And you know what? We gotta put the front end into service mode. We gotta halfway take off the entire front end of this vehicle just so we could gain some space to freaking remove this AC compressor that's right here. I already got the new one in, but my God, did it suck coming out, giggity. Had to remove the oil cooler over here. Had to remove a power steering line and clamp it off so it don't piss all over me. Yeah. So you want to become an auto tech, huh? It ain't all brake jobs and head jobs, it's in uh, easy work. You got an air chisel in the background messing with my ear drum. Is it all you can care? But you want to be an auto tech. It's been a weird day. Let's get to the next clip. So I replaced my AC compressor, but uh, don't pay attention to my front tire. Don't pay attention to my front tire. Whoa. Whoa, what's going on there? Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> it looked like a retread gone wrong. <laughs> Whatever. Their AC works now, so they'll be sitting on the side of the road nice and cool when that tire blows out. <laughs> but that's fine whatever enjoy that's why you know the this customer decided to purchase the two rear tires but they didn't want to do a alignment which i highly 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 recommended so let's go through this tire let's go oh look at that flat spot there here's another flat spot look, look, look how flat that is you can see how flat it is so that's two three four Five, six, now let's watch this thing roll. And they didn't want to do an alignment. They think I'm crazy. All right, whatever, you know what? Those brand new tires that I installed, they're gonna be doing the same thing. They're gonna be wearing abnormally. That's okay. That's all right whatever customer states that i lowered my car and now i hear a rattle and now my oil pressure lights on well uh they did lower the car in fact and hit here's where they hit the car in the belly pan and you know what look what this goomba freaking did they punctured the freaking oil pan beautiful you want to lower your car, but then you don't want to do the other stuff to protect the car. And now we got a breather hole in the freaking oil pan. Oh, not to mention they're complaining of a rattle too after they did the, the lowering. And uh, wouldn't you let me know? Look at that. Oh, I wonder. What is that? Oh, it's just a random bolt. It's been there for a while because you can see the rust on the control arm. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that there. I might just charge you a half hour for removing it. What the, what the hell, dude? You serious? Now let's go a little further back. Let's go a little further back to this custom exhaust. We got one custom pipe, two custom pipes, three custom pipes. Let's put a fourth one in there. Four. And then they actually have a decent muffler. Who the hell welded this? That one's not that bad. Oh, they, 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 you know what? The, the, uh, the welds are not bad. They're not leaking like uh, like this exhaust sleeve. So you know what? Whoever welded that, you didn't do too bad of a job. You must have did it on the bench instead of in the car. Not bad. Oh, here's where you messed up. Look at the O2 sensor wiring. Oh, it's heating up. 
They didn't direct that properly. All right. It's been a real weird day. We got that AC compressor over there, and then we got this coming in. Oh, look at the freaking trans pin. Oh, look at this. Oh, that structure. Oh. Oh, no more. Do not. Yeah, it's leaking. It's all wet. It's all wet, giggity. <sighs> Thank you, guys. Please like, subscribe. Don't hit your oil pan. And hit that bell notification for further content.